Hey guys, I'm gonna do the fourth. It's the last play Pokemon Coliseum. Let's go. On to trainer number 56. Perhaps it was fated that we battled you and I. Well, considering the fact that I want to do this let's play, sure, I guess you could say that. Stumps the terrorist, and I'm fighting Lady in suit of Mel. It's like a smell, but without the S. And a smelly smell that smells smelly. Anywho, she has a Sunflower, Sneasel, Quagsire, Quillfish, Gligar, and Noctowl. Alright, so, Sunflora and... Yeah, can be handled by Altaria. Sneasel and... Uh, I guess that's it. Can be handled by Hitmontop. Let's see if we can find out it has more than one weakness. Quagsire and Quillfish can be handled by Meganium. Uh... Alright, I'm gonna do this. Meganium, Espeon, and... Mm. Meganium handles Quillfish and Quagsire. Espeon can handle the rest except for Sneasel. So... I'm on top. Let's go! Lady and Suta Mel would like to battle. Send out a Sneasel. I send out a Meganium. Meganium. Nah, I'm kidding. Meganium sounds nothing like that. Anyway, go hit him on top. Hey, I just realized hit him on top rhymes with Machop and Cowboy Bebop and Doopop. Scooby Doo 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 Doo. No, I'm kidding. I'm not scat man. Anyway, Intimidate lowers your attack. White Herb restores its stats. Okay, well, you just wasted your item. Here, sing taunt. We are taunting you, and I'm gonna not be able to use. Non-attack move, so let's go triple kick. Do you think faint attack? Okay. It's not very effective. A right, triple kick, which is quadruple effective. And a critical hit, which almost kills you in the first shot, which is the weakest. Either way, Sneasel dies. Next, Quagsire! Alright, we have a Quagsire. Let's switch out to Meganium. Meganium uses mud shot. Well, that's not very effective now, is it? My speed fell though. Ah well. Uh, let's use Razor Leaf and take care of this real quick. Uh, I'm still faster than you. Quagsire is kind of a slow Pokemon, but he's pretty good though. As long as he's not fighting grass types. And Quagsire dies. Quagsire sounds like a fancy person. Ghost and Flora. Alright, we have to switch Pokemon. And send in Espeon. Go, go, go! Sweeper! Uses growth. In order to increase its size and special attack. Let's go ahead and use a special attack known as Psychic. And you don't die. Alright. Uses Razor Leaf. Okay, take a critical hit and do some decent damage. Magoo! Magoo the Gorilla. Use Psychic again. Wasn't this the Pokemon that, like, threw up ramen noodles or something? Like, whenever it got sick, it, like, made ramen noodles? How the crap does that happen? It's a sunflower. Either way, a male was defeated. It's been such too long since I enjoyed a battle this thoroughly. Indeed. But seriously though, it's a sunflower. How the crap does it throw up ramen noodles? Seriously, what's up with that? Either way, we win. Let's continue forward. After trainer number 56 comes trainer number 57 after I do not suspend my challenge. And this lady... Come on! Uh, okay. Sure. Vim. Vim. Sounds like a southern person gotta say Vim. Rider Vim. Thompson Terrace versus Rider Vim. She has a Pelipper, a Fortress, a Lay Ron, a Sand Slash, a Dusclops, and a Skarmory. 
about a fire type would be really nice right now, but I don't. So, what I can do is have Ampharos take care of Pelipper and Skarmory. As for Fortress and a lot of these other types, we're gonna have. Actually, Quaxire can handle more than one of those, so. Quaxire first, then Ampharos. Last but not least, we have Dusclops. Don't really have much to take care of that with, except for maybe. Altaria. Let's go! I could have used him on top for the Steel types. Didn't think about it. Well, then again, I couldn't use it with Skarmor anyway. V almost sends out a Sand Slash. I have to do the rest of the battle in a Southern Accent. Go, Quagsire. Quagsire's gonna go ahead and use Surf on my dad. Goes ahead and grunts in the background. Oh, he's using Slash. Speaking too slow for a Southern Accent. Oh well, gotta use Surf. Away! Go, Pelipper! Right back. And I'm back. So, let's go ahead and switch. Go, Ampharos! Ampharos can kill it because it has a quad weakness to electricity. New Yorker. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna do New Yorker accents. It's using wing attack, which is not very effective. Let's use a Thunderbolt. Why? Because it's accurate. And it kicks butt. And kills you. Ha 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 ha. You die. Next, Leron. I definitely cannot use Qu er, Ampharos for this one. I'm sending in Quagsire. Quagsire. Like a sire. Like a sir. I'm getting a drink. After Leiron's done stomping the yard, we're gonna go ahead and use Surf. Surf joke here! Ugh. You die. Next! And Rider Venom was defeated. Oh no! I can't believe it, I lost. Oh no! Got a spoon. Anyway, we win. And I sound like that one weird dude from Family Guy. Let's continue forward. I sound like that one weird dude from Family Guy. I got a creepy voice that sounds like Herbert the Pervert. Hmm. Oh, what? No, I'm kidding. Yo, 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 let me battle with your Pokemon. I sound like Dan Green. Like, yo, Bidix. Alrighty. Roller Boy Bidix would like to battle. Or Bidi, however you pronounce that. Either way, he has a Lunatone, a Seedra, a Jump Bluff, a Mistrubius, a Soul Rock, and a Seeking. Uh, well, I could use Quagsire to. Random interruption from my father, obviously he doesn't know I'm recording. Either way, uh, Quagsire can handle Lunatone and Soul Rock. Uh, Altaria can handle Jump Bluff. Ampharos can handle Seedra and Seeking. Well, alright, so let's go- Wait a minute. Meganium can handle Lunatone, Soul Rock, Seedra, and Seeking. Quagsire for backup, and then Altaria for the rest. Roller Boy Bedix would like to battle. The Rapid Pokemon Trainer sends out a Seedra. I sound like an announcer. Hooray. Go, Meganium. Meganium uses Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf. Haha. <laughs> it's super effective and kills you. Take that, Seedra. I'm down green. No, I'm kidding. Out of gas, until Capri. Kidding, I can't do a Nintendo Capri Sun voice. It sends out a Soul Rock. I do the exact same thing I did to it the other time. Except I missed. Using Cosmic Power. In order to increase its special attack and. Nope, special defense and defense. Not in that order. Alright, let's use Razor Leaf again. Haha! 
It's super effective. It survived. They use this fire spin. Really? Okay, I realize that fire spin was a good move in first gen, but fire spin now is just annoying. Considering the fact that I'm allowed to attack and it uses an orange Mary. Let's use Razor Leaf. More damage. And you still survive, barely. Darn it. Rock throw. I'm a grass type. That's not very effective, I don't think. Nope, never mind. Normal damage. Insert foot into mouth. And fire spin. Are we about done yet? Because if so, Razor Leaf. And Soul Rock was defeated with an unnecessary critical hit from Fire Emblem. Take that, Soul Rock. Next, go Mischievous. Mischievous. Let's use... Razor Leaf. Why? Because it worked on the other two, so we may as well work on this one. Incrementalism! Hooray! Using Psy Beam. Dry Beam. And it barely did anything. Ha 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 ha. Ah ha ha. My dad found out that I was actually recording whenever he did that. He thinks he's funny, but he's not really that funny, I guess. Anyway, Mistrubus is somewhat getting close to dying. Uh, Meganium took some shots. Citrus Berry. You know what I need right now? A critical hit. Incrementalism! And a little bit of lag. Psybeam! It's doing the exact same thing over and over and over again. Except this time I'm switching. Go Altaria. Switch out before I have to have an unperfect win. Nose. Use this Psybeam! And offer something completely the same. I take damage. I do damage to be exact, and I use Dragon Breath. Go, go, go! Bad Breath! Pains. Dang it! Game! Alright. Use Sing. Put to sleep. It's being intelligent. It's learning! It's asleep though, so that's pretty good. Let's use fly! Into the sky. It's woke up. It uses a side beam! But it missed! I use fly! It also missed! It uses a side beam! It doesn't miss! Ouch! This battle is turning out to be more annoying than I thought it would be. Use Dragon Breath. Hopefully I can paralyze it. Come on, Paralysis. Darn it, so use Psybeam. Do you know any moves besides Psybeam and Pain Split? Alright. Hopefully this will take care of it. Thank you for dying again, because you died the first time because you're a ghost. Either way, we win. My Pokemon battle with you, losing makes me blue. Win. Continue forward. Eh, I'll be right back. I'm back. So, let's go on to trainer number 59. 59. I know everything about Pokemon. Everything. There's no blind spot for you to exploit. Oh, really? Do you know about 4th and 5th generation Pokemon? Or N? Or that I'm a terrorist? Or my name is some random dude the 4th and I make less plays on Pokemon games and other games and such? I don't think so. This guy has a Manetric, a Surviper, a Cacturn, a Breloom, a Pile of Swine, and a Smeargle. Alright, so. How are we going to handle this?
this is we have Benectric, Viper, and Pyloswine wait to Quagsire. Cacturn and Breloom are weak to Altaria, and Smeargle, as well as Pyloswine, are weak to Hitmontop. Let's go! Researcher and Nuts would like to battle. And Nanat sends out a Pyloswine. Pyloswine. Pyloswine, as I said before, is an actually decent Pokémon. Or at least its evolved form is. Which, by the way, hey, did you know that Pyloswine evolved? I don't think so. So you don't know everything about Pokémon, so quit being arrogant. It's super effective. Next Pokémon is a Cacturn. I need to switch Pokémon. Go Hitmontop! I think it's a dark type, isn't it? I hope I'm right, otherwise I'm gonna look like an idiot. Go Hitmontop! It's used to intimidate lowers its attack. It's using Needle Arm! Thank goodness I changed, otherwise that would have been bad on my part. Let's use Triple Kick and see if I'm right. It missed. Really? Cotton Spore. Rawr. I'm slowed down by... Fuzzy white... Puff Balls. Triple Kick. It's lowering my... Speed... Again. Okay. Is that really necessary? Is it? Triple Kick. One shot. Two shots. I look like an idiot because it's not super effective. Oh, it is super effective. I'm looking like an idiot about myself looking like an idiot. Cacturn is a dark type and heat dies. Manectric. It's electric. Okay, okay. Anyway. Change. Go Quagsire. Ha 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 ha. Alrighty, it's using Charge! I'm using Earthquake! It's using Headbutt! So many sharp angles on that Pokémon. I flinched. Okay, let's... it's gonna use Headbutt again. Okay. About done? Good, because I'm using Earthquake. Destroys your charge and thus kills you. Take that, my trick. Take that. That's what you get for about being so cocky about knowing everything about Pokémon. You lose. Wah! Thwarted. Indeed you're thwarted, because you're a mad evil scientist, apparently. Because only they say thwarted. Either way, we win, and you've been thwarted. Next. Continue. On to the area leader of this battle. We head to this lady over here that has a bandana. You think you can beat me? Let's see you try. Well, I like your confidence. And, area leader Glyden is who we're facing. Uh, she has an interesting team of Pokemon. Huh. Okay. Let's see if I can figure this out correctly. Golbat, Torpedo, and Seedra are both weak to, or all weak to, Ampharos. Hitmonsop is weak to Altaria. And Espion. Jeffrig is weak to. Eh, Hitmonsop, but it's also psychic though, so I don't really want to do that either. So. I guess I can use S- well, nope, there's a, there's a couple of dark types, so... S-Man can handle Golbat and him on top, but... So and Altaria can handle him on top. Eh, it's a risky move. Let's go hit Espeon. Then, for the others, others being... Jeffrig. I say we use... Eh... Altaria. Tough decision, but I'm in it. Area leader Glyden would like to battle. Something tells me this might be a tough battle. Go Jeffrey, the one that I was worried about from the very beginning. Alright, I have an Ampharos. Normally 
I wouldn't mind using after us, but he has to kill three other potential Pokemon, or two other potential Pokemon, so I'm gonna go ahead and send in, uh, Altaria. Alright. It's using Stomp, because it's gonna stomp the yard. Sorry, you can't have no rip it, ep blah, epic rap dance battles here. Because we're gonna go ahead and use Dragon Breath. No, I'm just kidding. I've never even seen Stomp the Yard, so I'm just making myself sound like an idiot. GF Rig takes some damage. And it's using Stomp the Yard again. Quit stomping the yard! And actually doing some decent damage. Uh. Pokemon Switch. Go Espeon. Terry is about to die. Go, Espia! It's using Stomp the... Do you know any other moves besides Stomping the Yard? What is it with area leaders and spamming? Use Psychic. Even though it's not very effective. I was hoping to do us at least some decent damage, which I guess I did. Oh, holy crap, it knows hidden power. Well, at least it's not super effective. Let's use... Uh... Let's use a turn. It's a physical move, but it missed. It's using... What the crap? Really? Game! Dang it! Alright, fine. Go all here, yeah. Good grief. How random is that? Hey, I'm a GF rig. Oh, hey, guess what? I know Shadow Ball. <laughs> Cheap. It's just Dragon Breath. Thank you for dying. Next. Alrighty. Seizure ought to be ha easier to handle. Let's go ahead and switch out for Ampharos. It would be my luck that her next Pokemon is probably going to be Hitmontop. Go! It's using a Aurora Beam! Aurora Beam! It doesn't do that much. Alright, let's use Thunderbolt. It's using Hidden Power! Of course it's super effective! I don't even know what type Hidden Power is, but apparently... Well, actually, I do know it's ground, because... Electricity only has one weakness, and... That weakness is ground, so... Go, Sharpedo! Well, at least it's making it easy on me. Thunderbolt again! It's using Slash. I'm gonna be annoyed. Alright, it didn't kill me. Static made you unable to move. I'm using Thunderbolt. It's a critical hit and super effective. It's an unnecessary... Well, actually, it was kind of a necessary critical. Either way, you die. And Glyden was defeated! Ridiculously strong. Ridiculously delicious. And... Glyden was defeated, although not in a perfect way. We shall continue this... To the break room! No, just kidding. Off we go to the break room. Talk to dude! Woohoo! Congratulations, you made it with Area 6. You won yourself with 1,600 Pokey Coupons. 1,600 Pokey Coupons. In total, you've earned 3,150 Pokey Coupons on this Mount Battle Challenge. Would you like to advance to the next area? Yes, I shall, but I shall do that next time on Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. This is Summer Dude the Fourth. This is me saying see you later, and T-Guard's doing the same. So long, everybody. And God bless.